Hi and welcome to Tax Calculator in C++. So I'm going to start by creating new project and right in here I'm going to select console application click on next and let's click on next again make sure C++ is selected click on next I'm going to give that a name I'll just call it Tax Calculator There we go. And let's grab a location. Okay, location selected. Click on next and finish. And in this source file, I'm going to grab hold of the main, double click on main. And right here, I'm going to leave the data in the end. Apart from this, just delete those. And in here, the first thing I want to do is to, first of all, let's declare the following variable. I've copied that, paste that in there. Um, the first library I'm going to call here, let's say, is going to be string. Okay. I need a very library. So let's say string. And the next thing I want to do now underneath the name in space or maybe right underneath here and then in the main program first of all let's create some constant variable I'm going to call that double and this I'm going to call that the rate of tax let's say tax rate 1 for tax rate 1 we can say that is this is 0 0.15 enter some column then I'm going to create another constant that's going to be tax rate number 2 tax rate 2 and we increment that by let's go for maybe about 35 and Let's create another constant. This very constant now is going to be a set for married couple and unmarried couple, the tax rate. So for the very first one, I'm going to say tax rate single. Let's get rid of that. And the underscore single. And that is going to be for single. Single can end up to let's go for about 30, 37,000 37, pounds. There for double for married couple. Now let's say tax rate married now we're going to say that is about let's just make it approximately twice so that is going to be 4 and that should be 74,000 now we create another declaration here so I'm gonna call that tax tax one the value will be zero and another one create another one that the value will be zero as well tax two zero value okay I'm gonna create two more variable one is going to be known as income Let's call this income. And the next one that is going to be looking into your marital status. So let's say string marital status. Okay. 
there. Now, let's start by using C out. So, in the case of C out, let's just say something like maybe enter, enter. So, we say enter your income. There we go. And right underneath here, I am going to say C out that we call that income there. Now the next thing is let's go for enter let's say enter S4 single and let's say M4 married as a married couple you get less tax so that's how that's gonna work out okay now the next thing we want to do now is uh, let's say we want to get in the marital status okay so so marital status there we go enter semicolon there all right so we get in let's get rid of that parenthesis okay let's use an if statement to validate the entry that will be entered so let's say if marital status let's grab a hold of that instead of typing paste it in here if that is equals equals s in that case this is what i want the system to do first of all we use another if statement here if income less than single rate okay this is tax rate single if it's less than tax rate single okay then we now want we now want the tax so let's say tax one tax one that will be equals to rate one which is the this tax rate I will multiply that by income there we go else The tax rate will be as follows. Let's grab all of this, paste that in here. Tax rate one multiplied by tax rate, and we'll repeat the same thing for tax rate number two. This one will be two, and as for two, so that will be tax rate. Let's say the income here multiply the income by the single okay income multiply no income minus single rate so let's come in and grab this close that up and close this up as well right so else that means if it's married, I'm going to copy all of these up to here. And let's go. Yep. And that is going to be else. 
we enter as follows there we go so let's change this to instead of single that become married so let's grab hold of the married here tax rate married come right down here and change this to married this is married as well there and here we need to change that as well to married this should have been single Yeah, it should be single, else the answer will be wrong. Okay. I think that is, we're getting somewhere now. Let's bring it down a little bit. All right. Okay, the next thing now is right underneath here, we now want to declare one variable there. Yeah? So we say total. total tax that would be equals rate 1 plus rate 2 rate 1 plus tax rate 2 entire semicolon and see out let's add a space in there see out that will be the tax is in pounds so that will be total total underscore tax and Line. and right underneath here we ask it to return zero I can spot some errors here so let's come in here first this should be in a quote and let's run it and see oh no there's an error here as well this should have been tapped to here Okay, let's check this out. And this should be tax two, tax one, tax two, tax one and two here. Okay, there seems to be more error here. Look at this. That is invalid. That's supposed to be tax. I'm gonna copy this. That's total tax and get rid of this okay I think that will be all so I'm going to let's just go back up and have a good look at it at the lines of codes again bring it down I'm gonna kind of like add a bit of space in there alright enter enter your income and yeah that's fine bring it down again and um, right there be a bit of room or okay so let's run it build and run enter your income so let's say the income is about Maybe forty-five thousand. Single or married? Let's go for married. Right. So your tax is going to be six thousand and six thousand and seven hundred and fifty. Oh, look at this. All right. So that's fine. Okay. It seems he doesn't recognize the pound sign. So let's. Let's enter something in there and let's say single there 
I'm going to change this to dollar sign. Let's come back in here and just oh, close that. Change that to dollar sign. Sure. All right, let's run it again. Build and run. There we go. There. So I'm going to say you are about 75,000 plus in a year. And you are married. There we go. Look at that. So your tax is about 11,678 plus. All right. So that is how you create your own tax calculator in C++. So let me show you guys the lines of codes again before I call it the end of this program. Um, bring it down. And there we go. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. You all have a nice day now. And bye for now.